Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Latravia's Kitchen. Today, we are making some stuffed bell peppers. Yes, stuffed bell peppers. So let's get into the ingredients. Of course, you're gonna need your bell peppers, right? Already cut open, poured out. Mm -hmm. So we want it colorful, we got all four colors going. Um, next up, we have our rice cooking in the background back here. You know, rice, just leave it alone. And it'll cook, so that's what we're doing with that. Um, we also have some diced tomatoes. Of course, you guys know I love to use the ones basil, garlic, and oregano. Um, we have tomato paste as well. That's also basil, garlic, and oregano flavor. Um, we're going to drizzle some extra virgin olive oil on top of our peppers and everything. Seasonings, we have salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and we're going to top it with some dried parsley flakes. Um, we want some butter, so basically we're going to do our onions and some butter in a little bit. We have some diced onions right here. Um, ground beef, because I want some meat in my stuffed bell pepper. We're going to mix in some of this Colby Jack cheese here in our meat and rice mixture. And of course, I'm going to do like a little bit, not a lot of sugar to kind of cut everything else that's going on. And top it with this mozzarella cheese. So like I said, we already have our rice going in the background here. It has like another nine to 10 minutes to go before it's ready to go. Our oven is already preheated at 400 degrees. So next on our list is go ahead and turn on this stove on right here. And we're gonna drop in about, almost about two tablespoons of butter. Onions to try to get a little translucent, so we're gonna kind of spread them out a little bit. Now, one thing that you can do instead of using butter, you can use your extra virgin olive oil if you would like. But I am using my butter to get like a rich flavor in here. I'll let that get up to a nice heat, and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of sprinkle in. Some of my garlic powder from my onions. If you have a fresh um, garlic and you want to go ahead and mince that, that will work great as well. Um, I don't, so I am using my garlic powder that I keep on deck. So let your butter melt down and let your onions cook for about five minutes. So five minutes have passed and we are dropping in our ground beef. So, so of course you know we want our ground beef all the way cooked through. So let's break that down. Also our rice has been completed so we moved it over here um, off of this stove rack. We're gonna let it sit for a little while and we're gonna go ahead and turn this heat back up some so we can get this ground beef going. So we put our ground beef all the way through and drain our grease all. So now what we're going to do is take our can of diced tomatoes, pour them in there, along with all the juice. We're gonna take our tomato um, paste and scoop out two tablespoons, which is almost a whole little um, six ounce jar. Some 
black pepper. Not a lot, maybe like a tablespoon. Try to make sure that everything, like all your meat and all that, is coated with the tomato paste and this tomato, like the diced tomatoes and everything that diced tomatoes use. So let's get that all really going in here. Nice and coated, nice and coated. Hey, so now that that is nice and coated, I now want to add in my cooked rice. As you can see, when it gets done cooking, it's like really flat. It's wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and drop my rice on in here. So this is about two cups of cooked rice. We're dropping in here. Now let's make sure we stir that all together too. I want my stuffed bell peppers to be nice and cheesy and full of flavor. So we're gonna take this Kobe Jack cheese and mix it on in here. Stir it about so that our cheese is nice and melted. I'm so happy right now, like this is smelling great and I can only Imagine what the finished product is going to be, y'all. I am so excited. So excited. So we move our peppers over here and we're going to start with this nice, beautiful orange one. Turn the heat off. So let's go ahead and go to this pepper. Now what I'm going to do is kind of like brown the cheese on top a little bit. 
So we're gonna put it back in here for about five to 10 minutes. Look at here, look at here, look at here at least. Gorgeous, colorful, cheesy bell peppers. Mm-hmm, they are done, they are ready to go. I'm gonna let them cool down a little bit. Like always, all of the ingredients and instructions will be down in the description box down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye.